hey guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i make my ride or die sister cups now these cups can be made for your sisters it could be made for your you know your friends or anything like that it could be a gift or just because give but i think they're really really cute so this is the leopard print version of the sister ride or die cups stay tuned hey welcome back to my channel unique world and if you are new please make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel okay so the first thing you want to do is remove your labels and stickers if you have any um i actually got this from um walmart about six dollars these are called wine tumblers um so um just make sure you remove all decals now you're going to want to sand your uh wine tumbler down um and make sure that it has a nice little grip to it and you're going to apply some alcohol onto the surface to clean the wine tumbler now uh, what i use is to tape my wine tumbler or any tumbler that i do um, is electrical tape um i think it works better than the painter's tape because it doesn't leave any room for it to um like leave any like paint marks or it just doesn't bleed through um easily so i like to use painters not painters tape but um electrical tape now that i'm outside i'm going to grab my metallic rust-oleum spray paint and i'm going to spray my tumblers down with an even nice coat um make sure that you're not too close to your cups because it will um, run down your cup so you want to be at a good distance when you're spray painting now 15 minutes later i let it dry and now i'm going to use the rust-oleum semi-gloss clear uh, spray um it doesn't have to be semi it could be gloss but you're going to use this to protect the paint so i did wait about 15 minutes for the clear um spray to um dry and um now i'm just going to remove the tape and i did lightly um wash the cup off with um just some water just to make sure that it's um clean and now i'm going to grab my um permanent vinyl um leopard print i already used my cricut to um print the leopard print and um i'm just going to stick them on to the wine uh tumbler now if you guys want to know where i got my leopard print from i pretty much just googled um leopard print and then i used my cricut to um cut the leopard print image out into stickers and as you can see i'm just placing the stickers onto the cup it doesn't have to be no type of pattern or anything like that you can freestyle it just scatter it around and will it will look something like this honestly to me this kind of looks cute just by itself with just a leopard print and just epoxy it and be done um, but since this is for a customer um, they want the um, sisters and the image on the cup so um, that's why I'm just going to go ahead and tape the cup off um, and I'm recycling I'm using the same um, electric tape that I used when I spray painted the um, cup and I'm just gonna retape that um, electric tape onto the tumbler just like this Oh, also, by the way, um, when I do retape, I try to leave a tiny little gap in between the electric tape and the um, tumbler paint. I also use etching cream to do a leopard print cup as well. If you're interested, I'll leave that in the description down below and above in the video. This is what we have for our two tumblers. Again just just letting y'all know make sure y'all retape your tumbler before you epoxy just make sure okay so now you're gonna get your cup turner and i'll leave all the materials that i use for this um project in the description down below um but you're gonna want to make sure you use your cup turner and 
um, turn it in a direction that um, makes it more comfortable for you um, as you're spreading the epoxy onto the tumbler. And I apologize because my hands are in the way of the camera, but you're going to want to make sure you put enough of epoxy onto the cup um, to cover these tumblers. And I actually use a medicine cup and I measured um, 5 ml of part A and 5 ml of part B. And I'm just... Um, making sure that you know it's all covered and I give it a second and I'm going to use my um, arts and craft uh, dryer and I'm going to pop any bubbles that I see on the tumbler make sure that you don't do it too long or it'll make the epoxy drip okay so here is what your cup should look like after it has been dried and I let mine dry overnight uh, so that was about maybe what eight hours now you're gonna grab your customizable um, sisters um, and place them on the tumbler um, you can I customize this uh, for uh, my customers with their um, sister's name on the cup so um, you can Google the image and find like a few sister images um, linked together. Um, and what I did was I placed or typed the names in on their shirts. So that um, her sister's name would be um, on the shirts. And as you can see, I'm struggling here because um, once you lay that sticker down, um, that's it. And um, you don't want the, you know, the sisters or the image to be um, crooked. I think I could have went slightly bigger on the um, image for the girls, but um, you know, when you're working with a round surface and your image is a lot bigger, then um, it can uh, cause some issues with um, the image um, not laying down correctly. But right now I'm using the transfer uh, tape to um, uh, get the ride or die image onto the cup. And I'll leave um, what kind of transfer tape I use in the description down below um, so that if you're interested in using this, um, you can. Um, but I put the permanent vinyl image and um, just place it onto the cup just like this. And I'm going to remove the transfer tape. So that's what we have. And then I'm going to grab the heart. And I'm just going to tape that down with the transfer tape that I use for the white permanent vinyl. And I'm going to place the heart right on top of the image. And so it looks like this. Now you're going to retape um, your tumbler. Um, because you're going to have to put another coat of epoxy on top of your um, permanent vinyl. You can leave it like this, but I wouldn't um, because it would give it a more glass look if you epoxy it again. So I like the gloss look. So right here, I'm going to apply the epoxy. And you're going to put another um, layer of epoxy on top of your images. And make sure you do it evenly um, I'm using a silicone brush again if you guys are interested in purchasing all the items that I use uh, again that would be in the description down below um, but I let it dry after I put the epoxy on and this is the final cup um, so it's really really nice shiny glass look um, definitely a great gift to give to your sisters. Um, I placed the lid on it just so you guys can see, um, how the cup actually looks. Definitely make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe so that you do not miss another tutorial from Unique World. And, um, 
let me know how, how do you guys like these cups because i know my customers really 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 love these um but again thank you so much for watching and until next time peace